Hey guys, it's Shonda. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my March wrap up. Um, so I'm going to share with you all the books that I read in the month of March. Most of the books I read during the whole quarantine type thing, um, all but one. So I have all the books still with me that I finished so I can actually physically show you them. Um, and I'm going to do similar to how I did with my February wrap up where I'm kind of going to tell you a little bit about the book but not really but I'm just going to share my opinions on them and you can let my opinions decide if you are interested in the book or not um and you can obviously go and look up the book um in the summary if you choose to but I'm not going to offer that to you sorry <laughs> so I read six books this month which is one less than I did in February which is fine um but I'm kind of upset about it because I kind of was a in a reading slump this month like I read a lot still um, and I read good books but I didn't really find myself reading as fast as I usually do so the first book I read for the month of March was What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera which was a little um, less than what I was expecting but it was still really good um, I really liked these two and I Okay, first of all, this month has felt very long, so I can't really remember how I felt when I was reading it or what it was about. I mean, I remember a little bit, but, um, anyways, I thought this was a really cute story, and I love how they, the two are, like, their connection and their relationship, and I really liked it. I really like both Becky, Becky Albertalli and Adam Silver's books, so I really like that they paired up together and ended up writing this book. I didn't, like, love the characters. They didn't really stand up to me. Um, like, uh, in They Both Die at the end, the two main characters stood out to me. I really loved them. But in this book, they didn't really stand out to me, so I didn't love it. I think I gave this three or four stars. Um, it was enjoyable, but for the most part, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I love this book. The next book I read was Truly Devious, but I'm only going to show the back of the book because on the front it shows my school um, name. But Truly Devious I read and I'm upset because I didn't pick up the last two books to the series. Um, but I really did enjoy it. I wasn't expecting to because I don't prefer third person narrations. But it was actually really good. And I love a good mystery, so this one was really interesting. And I, love it. I really enjoyed the characters and I wasn't expecting to love it. Um, also because it was set in like um, a boarding school and there was times where it was in like 1900s which I don't love um, I don't really like books that have that setting or time but no I really enjoyed this book and I am looking forward to being able to get out of my house and pick up the next two books <laughs> next up after I finished Truly Devious I read these two Twilight graphic novels the first one I really, really liked, but the second one I didn't as much. I kind of skimmed. Um, I enjoyed this one because it was like a new kind of story. This one, it became really confusing and not as interesting in this book, but this one was pretty interesting. And I don't really know what to say about it because I just read it really fast and didn't really take anything amazing out of it. Um, but it was okay. Like, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't spectacular, but it was good enough that I actually finished it. <laughs> so the next book I read for the month of March, I read for school, and it's called The Chinese Cinderella um, by Adeline Yen Ma. It's the true story of an unwanted daughter. Um, and I read this for school, and it was my favorite book that I've had to read for school. It was a true story. The author was writing about her own story, her own childhood. She wrote about how her family kind of disowned her, didn't like, thought she was bad luck because her mother died giving birth to her, and kind of her own journey and her story. And as you can tell, I took a lot away from this book because I took a lot of notes, which is what these stickers are, or the um, page flags. But I really enjoyed this book, and it was really interesting because the author was writing about her own story, and I really liked it. I really liked the ending, and I really liked Adeline, I really liked her char like her character. I would really recommend it. So the last book that I read, and I just finished before filming this video, is War Crossed by Marie Lu, 
and I really like this book, although it was kind of a slow start for me, um, which honestly a lot of these books are. It wasn't really that interesting until around 100 pages in when um, she gets the call from Hideo Tanaka and actually goes to Tokyo, but it was pretty good. I honestly really did enjoy all the characters, except obviously the ones that are portrayed for you to not like. And it was pretty interesting, and it was a sci-fi thriller, which I liked. It was very shocking for me to like pick up. Like, I didn't expect that I would like this book or want to pick it up, but I did, and I liked it. And it was a good book for me because after reading all these books, I was kind of in a slump when it comes to reading, and I was like, eh, I don't want to read, but this kind of got me out of it. I'm still kind of in it, but this kind of got me out of it. I don't know what I'm going to read it yet. I haven't rated it yet. So I don't know when I'm going to read it. But it was pretty good. And I would recommend it to any sci-fi thriller lovers out there. So that was my haul. It was kind of short, I know. Um, I didn't read any spectacular books this month. Um, but hopefully that will change next month. Uh, and I am participating in the first Friday readathon again uh, for the month of April. So I'll be vlogging that. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Comment down below the fav your favorite book that you read this month. Or a book you want to talk about in the comments that you read, something like that, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!